Quickly, acres down, production down, ending stocks will become tight. World production down, U.S. remains the number one importer of oats. Oats have become a form of corn. <coughs> this is the one that um, concerns us because the world demand for oats as a feed source has really fallen. Since when we had high prices in, I think, 2006, 2007, where we almost hit five bucks a bushel, the U.S., because they're the biggest buyer of oats, started making these molasses, corn blends, and that, and we have not, or the oats, have not regained that market. The <coughs> oats is one of the crops that's not projected to expand in acres or usage in the next 10 years. So the demand of oats is really falling off. This year, because of the quality issues, oats um, is just going to be around two bucks a bushel and won't get much better. Here's our production numbers, down, down. Ending stocks, even though we're getting low, demand isn't there anymore. Right now, most of the big uh, pony oats are buying them around 275 to 3 bucks a bushel, and a lot of uh, uh, mills are filled up. So that may dry up, even though uh, our Saskatchewan manual crop was pretty crappy this year. There's still enough carryover to meet that higher quality demand, and uh, buyers have been filling up their feed mills. That may dry up pretty soon. These are, this uh, graph to show that corn and oats futures just track each other like mother daughter now. And here's uh, the thing about here's the oats future chart. Thing to notice is the trend line has not been broken yet, but we're still sort of in the uptrend line, although we're consolidating around 350 US a bushel. There might still be room, but right now it's going sideways and it'll probably break that trend line. In this one. So that line, if these prices keep just moving sideways, will break that uptrend line. 